Today we're looking at the Elgato Game Capture HD60. It's the follow-up to the Game Capture HD. Biggest improvement, it's a lot smaller of a device. It's about half as thick as the previous one. And you get 1080p, 60 frames per second support for recording video. Supported are your Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and really any HDMI unencrypted device. So the question you're probably asking yourself is, why should I get this when both the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 can stream natively from the console? We'll get into that later, but the big difference is 1080p, 60 frames per second. The Elgato HD60 really is a sleek looking device. Set up with it is a breeze. All you need is a PC or a Mac with a USB port, USB 2, and an HDMI video device. Again, has to be unencrypted. So, for instance, if you have a PlayStation 4, you'll need to turn off HDCP uh, in the settings menu. There's a video on Elgato site that tells you how to do that. But it's plug and play. You plug everything in, and install the software, and you're ready to go. The addition of the LEDs on top of the device are a nice touch because you know exactly when the thing is recording or when it's initialized uh, and ready to go. The software, it's a minor update from the previous version if you if you had an Elgato Game Capture HD, uh, but there's a lot of new features, the biggest of which is scene setup. Now you can t stream right to Twitch or YouTube or another service and set up scenes that have like your web camera or graphics or text overlays and you can customize those and save them as templates and load them at any time. It's really slick and simple to use. Uh, and really, you have to have this now if you plan on using Twitch or, or something. A really nice feature is if you record the video, which you can do simultaneously with your stream, you can have it output your webcam and other tracks to separate files so you don't clutter up uh, your stream or your, your video if you're maybe doing it for a review. Once you click record, you'll see the little red LEDs go. You'll have a thing that says that you're on air and you're streaming. It's really that simple. All you have to do is set up your accounts. Not a big deal. Really, really simple. Uh, you can adjust bit rates that are going to uh, Twitch. You can pick servers uh, that are closest to you and have better ping rates for a uh, more uh, uh, better streaming experience for your for your viewers. Uh, it's really quite nice. And here's here's what we wanted to talk about before is why would you pick this up if you can stream from your Xbox One or PlayStation 4? Well, you're going to get the ability to record the native. 1080p 60 frames per second video as well as stream at the same time from the device. Something you're not going to get when you're streaming from your PlayStation 4 or Xbox One that's limiting that to, to smaller buffers and stuff like that. You can also export and edit videos right within the, the same software interface. Again, you're not going to be able to maybe make a video review or something in there, but it's good to share clips on uh, Twitter and YouTube and Facebook and stuff real quick with your friends. You can make a highlight, you can capture a screen grab and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, the first game that I tried out with it, because I knew it was 60 frames per second, was Diablo 4 Ultimate Evil Edition on PlayStation 4, uh, and the video output from it captured with the Elgato HD60, it was, it was awesome. It's like looking at an arcade game. So smooth. Uh, really a huge difference. The software is a little bare bones at times. The interface a little simplified. But again, it, it gets the job done. Though I, I do hope I see some more updates to kind of streamline the experience. Uh, another really nice thing with this is I was able to use my NVIDIA Shield, plug it into this, and stream right from that. I'm actually, this is kind of bizarre, but I'm streaming from my PC to the Shield and then back to my PC to capture this. <laughs> so I'm, I'm showing off the, the Shield interface here and then eventually you know, I can launch some games and we can stream to it and capture uh, the native 1080p uh, 60 frames per second resolution that comes through the Shield. Uh, you know, with Counter-Strike Go. Uh, I show off uh, Sonic uh, 2, I believe it is, here, which is a, a native Android game, and it just looks gorgeous uh, at 60 frames per second. We did have a few issues with the device. The software was, was a little finicky. Uh, we couldn't get it to do quite what we wanted to sometimes, having to restart that. We had to restart the device a few times uh, when HDMI wouldn't sync up. HDMI is notoriously finicky for stuff like that, so it might not necessarily have been the device's fault, but combination of television, receiver, computer, etc. Overall, we're pretty happy with the Elgato HD60. It's a nice follow-up to the previous model. 
1080p 60 frames per second is gorgeous. If you're looking to stream your games and get the best possible resolution and frame rate out of those recordings, uh, the Elgato Game Capture HD 60 seems like the perfect device for it.